Welcome back everybody to FTB Regrowth. Okay, continuing on with the Bud Magic Saga. Okay, well, I just went and checked the quest book. We've done that. We've got to get on with the uh, detection task of making a sacrificial knife. Now, as you can may notice, I've moved the, uh, the beacon from over the hill to here. That is because it's gives me the nice effect of regeneration and we're gonna need that we are so gonna need that so knife we want one of these basically we need to make an Arthana and put it in a mana, mana pool so how do we make an Arthana fairly easily the only thing I'm missing is a stick <laughs> And of course, let's craft up, say, oh, I don't know, a stack. A stack of sticks. Boom. Done. Lovely. So, we'll grab our Arthana. Fantastic. I don't know if that is a quest that is um, basically combined with... Uh-oh. <laughs> I actually put on my ring of magnetism because I actually lost a black of uh, block of um, of iron when I was moving the uh, inf what was I moving the beacon yes sorry brain fart words you know don't come easy okay there we go sacrificial knife that means we've completed a quest yay right. So, going orbital, uh, weak blood orb. Okay, uh, needs a tier one blood altar with 20,000 life points and a diamond. Okay. Whoops, turn that off. So we get a diamond. And actually hang on. Hold the phone. Before we go too much further, there is another quest that we should really, really look at. And that's probably getting down to here. But actually, no, you do need you need both that and that to get down to this quest here. We've got, we've got to have faith. Okay, uh, how much how many blood points has that got? We don't know. Thankfully, we have lots of hearts due to our Tinker's Construct hearts. And we've got the regen effect from the uh, beacon over there. And I've also got the Talisman of Nourishment, which is basically pulling, keeping me nicely fed. Um, we'll just stick that in there. We should. Oh, more, more particle effects have been turned off. Uh, video settings. There we go. All the lovely particle effects. So with the regen 2, we should be able to keep up with the amount of blood this thing actually needs to get to where it needs to be to make the blood orb. Come on, any time now would be great. Would be fantastic. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Come on. <laughs> I can't keep sticking myself with a knife all day long. There we go. Beautiful. So, <laughs> we've managed that. Joy. Claim my reward. Now we've got to make one blank slate. <clears throat> Now, to make the blood slab, oh, I've actually got to 
right click the uh, blood orb on myself so basically that binds it to me <coughs> not necessary well you, you do have to do that sort of thing in multiplayer but uh, you also have to do it in single player too uh, soul chunk claimer we don't really need to do that because we're not playing multiplayer it's nice and all uh, but not required uh, we'll go grab some just blank stone We chuck that in there. Oh, hang on. That's changed. That's a changed recipe. I just remembered. We actually need to... Okay, so that's blank bloodstone. We need to actually put in living rock. And luckily for me... We have a living rock set up. So if I pull out that, my living rock uh, automated machine is basically going to keep making me living rock. So that's great. All automated. This is fantastic. Just keep enough life going into there. Okay, great. Thank you. Now we should, okay, detection, crafting task. I've got to make a div divination sig sigil. <sighs> divination. Divin. Uh, is that sign of divinity? Divination signal. Okay, so basically it's just glass and that. So I should basically should be able to just do this. Yay! Clear that out. Now we got. Now we can actually tell how much how much blood we've actually got in our altar now. So that's going to help things a lot. Current essence of two hundred. <gasps> wow. Oh, there's a current essence in the system. Current essence two hundred. Oh, that's actually stored in the blood orb. Um, so we're going to have to keep that on us, actually. It's not going to tell us. Ah, oh, there we go. We just got to right click. Can we actually right click with our hand? No, we actually need the sigil. And that'll tell us what's actually in the, uh, the altar. Okay? Okay. So we've done that. Fantastic. Claim my reward. Uh, Alter Plus unlocks one other quest elsewhere. Blood Rune. Okay. Questing, questing, questing. Blood Runes are stone. Okay, yep. So, boom. Uh, we'll take the rest of these blank slates. We'll make, I think, six will be enough. Perhaps. Oh, I need to make eight. Okay, so I need to make more slate, which I'm going to need to... Two, three, four. Oh, Whaler will actually tell us how many... Should, will Whaler tell me... Oh, it will too. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Do 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 do. Do 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 Take that. You can actually force more into the blood altar by using, say, a um, a funnel. We'll do it, but if you're pl just placing these things in one at a time, it does take a wee spot of time. I may need a little bit more blood. Let's just fill that up just a little bit more. Okay. So... I just need... 
two more of these. One. And two. So that will give me eight blood runes. Quest book. Detection task. I've now got to make a reinforced slate. Okay, to make a reinforced slate, you actually need a tier two um, altar, which you take these blood runes that we've just made and you place them around this altar. Now, as you can see, this this mountain's going to change. <laughs> it's going to change as I uh, basically make the altar bigger. Because the altar is a pyramid-like structure, and of course I've basically decided that the peak of it is actually right here. So I'm basically going to have to carve the mountain out as I go. So now, the, the capacity is still at 10,000. It's a tier 2 altar now. So what I can do is basically... Sacrifice a health bar or two. <laughs> so that's up to 5,000. I just need to place one of those there. I don't know how much how much LP it actually needs to get from... Okay, so it's not, not terrible. Wait a bit, then it goes to the reinforced slate, which is in the next part over. I've been run, mulling it over in my mind how to actually automate this um, in a applied energistics type way. I'm not entirely sure how I could do it. But there we go. That's that slate. Detection task. Oh, manually detect. Now we get uh, two speed runes, which makes things a lot quicker. With those speed runes, let's actually pop out a couple of these blood runes in the structure. And this will make the whole process a lot faster. What else is in the quest book? Right, okay. Um, of blood and blades. The basic sacrificial knife is good to start off with, but sometimes you want something with a little bit more oomph. Augmenting the knife with botanical or thomnamic magic seems to make it more powerful. Elementium from the Earls of Alfheim, which we do have. Um, okay, produce more LP when used. 1,000 life points for one heart. That's pretty good. You're not sure where the extra blood is coming from, but maybe there's something you don't want to re-inquire after. So knife okay so we need a runic order plus elementium two of those pop that down to the botanical area right so one of those one of those and one of them And that's going to go, put, go poof into the Applied Energistic Sense System. So, knife. Ta-da! Cool. Manually detect. Oh. That's a problem. I think the the problem is because it basically got picked up by a player. Actually, maybe if I just throw it down and I'll pick it up again. Maybe that'll detect it. No. Or maybe now? No. Huh, this may be a bit of a bug. I may have to report it. 
but what we can do um hot book here we are this is the uh, quest book the uh, op edition basically what you need to do to uh, get this book you need to op yourself and basically type in h uh, forward slash hqm hqm actually just question mark uh command not found or help they'll tell you and uh, basically what you want to do is hqm edit Uh, and I think it's you just do Raytac. Player does not exist. Aha. Raytac. Edit. Command not found. Ah, it's probably picking up that my name is case sensitive. And that should have given me... Okay, it's given me more uh, quest books. The op editions. So, if you ever get stuck with a quest, and you want to basically uh, get over it, you do that, you get one of these books. You click here, click back, uh, hold down shift, and so let's just double check the quest again. We've done that. It's not manually detecting, so we go back, shift click now it's completed okay so if you ever get stuck in your quests that's how to fix it so now we complete that quest oh it didn't actually go over to the, the, the uh, detection task ah uh, whoops <laughs> So I better actually go through the process, so I can actually complete the, the actually complete the task. But oh, never mind. So to do that, we're we're bouncing all over the place. You need a little bit of Thorncraft, a little bit of Batania, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm going to need my scribing tools. Go to Thormonomicon. Uh, is it this one? No. Here we are. We want this thing. So we need a piece of paper. So we can do our scroll. Mostly harmless, yeah. All the mo mostly harmless things tend to add up to something a little bit more than mostly harmless. All right, so we'll go back to void, which is that one. Uh, life, we shouldn't really need to have done that. We actually go back to death, and then we'll go back to destruction. Then we'll just take another void, because why the hell not? A little bit more destruction. And then we just have to join it up through here somehow. So pretty much what we'll do is this. Back to that. Easy peasy. Da da da! So, Mr. Thormonomicon, uh, it takes a sacrificial knife plus uh, two Thormium ingots, so I'm going to need another sacrificial knife, yay, and the, just those essences. Now, life essence, the best way to get that, Victus that is, is actually smelting down eggs. Because they're full of life. I only need 10 points. So I'll take a stack of that. Chuck it in my crystallizer. And let that do its job. 
Um, Procantio, I only need 10 of those, so we're just going to... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we're going to have 15, just to be on the safe side. 15 of those. Uh, right. I need two pieces of thormium. One, two. Uh, another sacrificial knife, which is that one, plus the Athana, which I just you go boom, done. Zip back over to Batania. Say hello to there. Go. Yep, thank you for the knife. Back to Thorncraft. And see how the Victus is coming along. It's getting crystallized, that's for sure. Just need two more pieces. So while we're waiting for that, let's go get set up. Now this should be a very, very simple, easy, mostly harmless thing to do, but uh, we're going to check it anyway. Uh, I think my abacus is in here, or is in this bag. Or I've uh, put, put it back into the applied energistic system. Which is pretty possible. There we go. Oh, I've already got the Procantio already here. <laughs> I need to actually recrystallize the, these uh, jars, however. That was left over from a previous infusion. Do, 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 do. So I'll just place that there and place that one. Doesn't really matter. That one. It'll do. Okay, so that one's empty now. That one's empty now. Thank you. I should have enough Victus now. 16, so we're going to take that all. Head up to the infusion altar and see how we go. So, place that in there. Don't really need to do those, but yeah, well, never mind. Of course, I don't have my botanical helm on with the uh, goggles of revealing. So, let's go actually back to the botania area. And get back my suit. Uh, no, turn that off. Come on. Armor stand. There we go. And it's taken away my jetpack. But I want my jetpack. There we go. It's less armor, but... It's it's better than well not being being stuck on the ground that's for sure. All right, back to Thorncraft. All right, so we're back here. Do do do. Back up these stairs. So now we've got sixteen Victors. We've got more than enough Procantio. That's great. Take the Abacus. Uh, total instability. Uh, okay, stability boosters of six. So, uh, but the total instability of the infusion is three. So, it should be a stable infusion. Should be a stable infusion. Should be in the operative word. Okay. Get our wand out and. Okay, that's, that's going into there.
The greedy bugger took it all? I didn't think that was... Oh, it was 16. <gasps> um, yep. Yeah. I thought I had uh, Victor's to spare. Apparently not. Right, let's head back up to the blood magic area. Now we can actually say that we've completed that quest. I didn't need to cheat it in. But it's okay, it's all good. We still get our two runes of augmented capacity. We've got all the things that we need to do, so yeah. But there are quests that will get you a little bit unstuck. So that's the way you fix them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, whoops. Turn that off. Okay, beautiful. So, what's the next quest? Okay, these are all tier two stuff. So we re actually the it unlocks one quest elsewhere. I want to know what it is. Uh, hang on. Uh. I want to know what that quest is that it unlocks. Okay, that's still the same. There, they're still the same. How the world grows, maybe? Yeah, I think that quest unlocked, perhaps? I don't remember seeing that quest there. Life of the world, that's pretty generic as in questing goes hmm uh, yay for warp effects it's gonna get real it's gonna get very real <coughs> all right folks well thank you all for the joining me for this episode um of course, if you did like the episode, do go ahead and click that like button. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, maybe just share the, share the video around. Don't really ask that you do it. If you do feel like that you want to, all well and good. Um, yeah, but I suppose above all else, enjoy yourself and uh, I'll see you next time.